Good morning, W. Ross. Today is Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. And here is Miss Stinson with an announcement. Good morning, everybody. This is just a reminder that the Audible Otter will be meeting today in the control room at 12.15 after you eat some lunch. So come on down um, to, to find out how you can help out record some of the amazing events that are going on at the school this year. Uh, the second announcement is regarding improv. Originally, it was supposed to happen tomorrow at lunch, but that has been postponed to next week. So the first improv meeting will happen at lunch next week on Wednesday, not tomorrow. Thank you. And now an O&M announcement. Good morning, everyone. This is an announcement from the O&M department regarding off-campus passes. We would like everyone to know that currently the intersection of Brant Avenue and St. Paul is off limits for independent travel. There's construction on St. Paul Avenue, and until it is done, that means that no walking to the hospital Tim Hortons or the Blue Dog Cafe without a staff member. The o and department can help students learn the walking route to the Paris Road Tim Hortons or a bus route for those who would like to go off campus without staff. The construction is supposed to be done in December, fingers crossed, and we will make an announcement when the intersection is reopened. If you have any further questions about this, please come and talk to one of us in the O&M department. And secondly, more, more exciting, um, I have the announcement that many students have probably been wondering about this year, which is the Elementary and Secondary Student of the Month Incentive Program. For those of you that aren't aware of this, each month a deserving student in each of the two categories, elementary and secondary, will receive a $10 gift certificate or gift card for Tim Hortons, Walmart, or McDonald's. To win a prize, the student will put into practice on a daily basis the skills that he or she is learning in O&M, display enthusiasm towards O&M, and travel safely and courteously around others in the school. There will be winners selected for the month of October, and I'll be back to announce them at the beginning of November. Good luck, everyone. And now a student council announcement. There will be a welcome back dance next Wednesday, September 27th, in the Student Center from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Admission is free for all students, and there will also be complimentary snacks and drinks. And now for sports. Good morning, sports fans. This is Scoop Reed with your morning sports report. In Silver Cup news, the Jets head coach, Stadium Stan Kazmarek, has announced that Mr. Brown has been named the offensive coordinator for this year's Jets team. For you fans new to the school, the Jets were upset by the Bills in last year's Classic and the changes to their coaching staff had been expected. There was also a teleconference last night between the commissioner of the league and representatives of both the Jets and the Bills. For more on this, let's go to my colleague, Lefty Lisk. Thanks, Scoop. I was given exclusive access to last night's teleconference. Here is what happened. Both the Jets and the Bills were allowed to protect their starting quarterbacks from last year's teams, and every other player in training camp will be available to be drafted in this Thursday night's draft. This means that Shotgun Josh C. will be the starting quarterback for the Bills, and Kyle, the Rifleman G, will be QB1 for the Jets. A coin toss between both teams was held to decide what team will have the right to select first in Thursday night's football draft. Microphone Brules will be on the air Thursday morning to announce who won the coin toss, along with his thoughts on who he expects will be high draft picks in this year's draft. That's it for sports. I'm Lefty Lisk. And I'm Scoop Reed. And we're out of here. And just before we get into weather, we have Ms. Tian Chao with an announcement. Bonjour, WRS. Comment ça va? C'est Madame Tian ici, mardi à 12h15, Tuesdays, which is today, at 12 15. So starting today, you are welcome to come to room 219 for French help or to catch up on work. I know that a few of my students in my class have been away or sick. So come out and I will be there to help you. A bientôt.
And for your Environment Canada weather forecast today, it looks like we'll reach a high of 25 degrees outside. It'll be mainly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers and a risk of thunderstorms throughout the day just because of how humid it's been lately. It's starting to build up, so we might get some rain. And fog patches will dissipate this morning as well. Again, a high 25, but it'll feel like 31 outside with the humid X. And the UV index will be 5 or moderate. Tonight we'll... We Tonight will go down to a low of 15, mainly cloudy, with a 30% chance of showers. Risk of thunderstorms early in the evening. And fog patches will develop overnight. Currently, it's already 18 degrees outside. Winds at 4 kilometers an hour from the west-southwest. And looking outside, it's a uh, mix of sun and cloud. Uh, looks like it might rain this afternoon, but if, you're, if it's not, try and get outside and enjoy the weather. And looking ahead for the rest of the week, it looks like a beautiful week. Anyways, that's it for weather. Back over to you, Jenna. That's all for your announcements today. Everyone have a terrific Tuesday.